So we're really fortunate to have a great engineering team here at Parker Global Mobile Systems. The reason for that is a lot of the depth of knowledge that they have in the mobile equipment market. A lot of education, a lot of experience uh, around motion control systems, specifically for the mobile industry. We've got very diverse background, several people from other countries. We've got many guys with decades of experience. A lot of the team has culminated their career by first starting out with the product engineering side at the divisions, and then getting a wealth of experience with product design, and then it moved up to more of a systems approach, and that's what we do here is we work with our customers from an overall application applying the products that are developed at our divisions. At GMS, we work with mobile OEM, so manufacturers of mobile equipment. We work with customers that build machines from the ground up, and we support them in the hydraulic system design. So with electrification, the, the, the key is knowing the electric machines. So that would be the motor, the inverter. And then the other piece is the hydraulic system. And then the third piece is the controls. So the idea is how are you going to combine these three things together? And that's really the objective. And that is what brings the best out of the systems team here. The benefit that you get with working with a company like Parker is we understand the legacy hydraulic technology that went into the 50 years of development to optimize that machine today. So the last thing that we want to do is slow the machine down as we make that transition into electrification. So you get the benefit that we understand you know, what it took to get the machine to where it is today, and now we're just electrifying it and making it the highest productivity as possible. So as we look at different capabilities that we have, and as we look at testing equipment and getting experience with those pieces of equipment, we're really looking at the application a individual product could perform in a certain way that under different parameters may react differently. So we want to make sure that we test for that and we test for those worst case scenarios to then provide that to our field sales, provide that to our application engineers to be able to get it into our customers' hands and train them on what the optimal solution is for a given application. One thing that we are proud of here at GMS is that we are technology agnostic. So we always try to address the problems from the root and select basically the right components for the application from the ground up. Looking at hydraulic systems, redesigning, redefining, reimagining, this is the time. And cost-wise, it totally makes sense because the cost of the battery is so high. So this is the unique opportunity for us as systems engineers dream to come up with new systems and take it to production. The first reaction to a lot of OEMs is to pull the IC engine out and put an electric motor in. The challenge there is that you'll run into efficiency issues and you'll have to have a very large battery or power source. So my team has uh, been challenged with that and to try and take cost out and be as productive as possible. You don't want to add extra weight to the vehicle by having a very large battery. And so it's been a technical challenge, but we've got some unique solutions, some IP that we've been able to simplify the overall system's architecture and while increasing the overall system productivity. The value of IoT is that you can remotely monitor it from anywhere. You can remotely monitor on your cell phone, on a tablet, on your computer. You can be near the machine, you can be thousands of miles away. And this enables those fleet owners to understand how their machines are performing, are they failing, and be ready to service those machines when they come in with the right parts, the right tools. So this overall is making our fleet owners more efficient in managing their portfolio of products. So when we're looking at proposing a solution to the customer, we really want to make sure that we are looking at what the end goal is and what the end utilization of the equipment is and the end user and backtrack from there. So we want to make sure that we have the product portfolio, whether it's a piston pump or a gear pump or vane or different types of valving solutions, we have the expansive product portfolio to offer to the customer, but we really want to work back from what the end goal is and what the customer's solution, the optimal solution is for them. We do about 80% of our projects outside of this facility, but we're here. If our customers want to send their equipment, uh, we're happy to have it here and work on it either way. Every day there's a new challenge. You know, whether it comes from our customers or from our operations team or our engineering team, there's always something to get up and you know challenge yourself with each and every day.